Welcome back guys. Thank you, thank you for tuning in. Alright, what we're gonna do today? I want to disc some corn stubbles in. We cut this is all we did. We bush hogged it. That was the Hastings. Uh we need to cut the flashes off, guys. Alright. That was the Hastings. Uh for you guys been following along. It did pretty good. Uh, I gave Roger quite a bit to feed his chickens and stuff, and I kept some for seed. We bush hogged the stalks. We rolled it out with the um, bog hair, and I just want to go over it today with the leveling hair. Just kind of finish knocking those stubbles down, kind of level it out a little bit. And then, <clears throat> of course, we may, if we plow most of this field or all this field on plow day, and this is the plow day field, what I was doing, guys, I kind of... I wasn't worried about anything on this hill. I rode around and come back close to those pine trees over here. I found one wet spot close to those pine trees, which it wasn't terrible. And today is Thursday. You'll see this video probably Sunday. Today's Thursday. So we got another a little over a week of drying. So if we don't get no rain or nothing, I don't think that spot will pose any problems. We could plow it today. We'd just have to, we'd have to, if we had plow day today, we'd have to come up about 50 foot from the pine trees over there and start, which wouldn't be a big deal if we did. But we could plow it today. I think I'm going to uh, talk to Sam. The sun's not on me bad as it will. Okay. The sun's, um, I think I'm going to talk to Sam maybe about cutting this I, I had originally thought guys and y'all let me know what you think uh which i maybe done cut it by the time this video comes out if it does it does but i had originally thought about just leaving it like this and cutting it and but i may see if we can cut it monday or tuesday of next week let it air out a little bit more uh it may make for a little bit better plow day we'll just have to see my thought was not to cut it because if it did rain, it'd be, uh, if it rained on freshly cut dirt, I mean, it's over, game over. Which, by the way, guys, that is something that um, I love putting on plow day, but it, I let it worry me too much because I don't want to let nobody down and have to come up, you know, Thursday morning, Thursday evening or something like that. And say oh you know guys we can't have it uh, you know it's too wet or it rained or what have you i told will i said if lord willing we have plow day next year we're going to change it to jt west plow day and tractor show or machinery show or something like that that way let's say it did rain and it was too wet well we still all get together and show off our trucks tractors whatever just you know equipment show so that may be, and if you guys got something you want to bring this year, that's fine too. But, <laughs> um, so my plan is, so this video will come out Sunday, and hopefully I will get to do a little work here Tuesday, some bush hogging. Uh, I got to go out of town Monday and work, but uh, we'll do some bush hogging and doing some final touches on it. Um, well, so my plan is guys, you'll come off of Prospect Church Road right there and we'll ride in like where Will's truck is. And right here at the edge of where the Hastings was is where I plan on bending in to go to park because the RV is gonna be there and we'll keep this clear um, and everybody will park back in that field right there and we'll just come in and out right here with it. I, another thought I had, because this is a, a waterway here that'll go down and then back up onto the roadbed, we'll probably stop our plows about, you know, 10 foot or so from the end of the field. And that way we can just turn around right here on the end of the field. And what that'll do is that'll give people plenty of turn around room without having to cross the ditch. Um, so we'll do that. 
uh, somewhere else I was going to tell you guys. Yeah, if uh, I'll probably say more about it Tuesday's video because it wouldn't make sense to say it in this video since it's coming out Sunday. I'll try to do another video Tuesday on bush hogging and final preparations and maybe get you guys some uh, drone footage. And if I can figure out how to do it, I'll do a voiceover on the drone footage and show you what my ideals are. And it'll look a whole lot different too because it'll all be bush hogged. So with having said that, let's, uh, we'll cut a little bit. Thank you for all new subscribers. God bless you. I broke 5,700 the other day. Uh, and uh just tickled me to death um i really I, I really like seeing that it seemed like i had been in the 5600s forever <laughs> and i finally seen that 5700 i was like oh man we, we're getting it now so thank you guys um you know this winter i still uh hopefully you guys will stick around with me i i got some thoughts about my boots uh these are the thor goods that I had reconditioned this part of their recondition program. And uh, I got some thoughts about not bad, not bashing nobody. They're okay, but it's some thoughts that folks are to know if they ever did that. And, you know, and I'm looking, I ordered a, a set of uh, Red Wings I used to wear about 20 years ago. They're called Super Soles. And uh, I had a pair, and they were great boots, and I don't know why I didn't keep wearing them. I guess I got stuck on Justin boots for a little bit or something at the time, but which that's, I, I do that no more, but <laughs> yeah, we all learn. We get saved and we learn. No, I'm just playing. I'm playing, guys. You may be somebody wearing Justin boots. Um, but yeah, so we got the Red Wings coming, and uh, we'll talk about them too. And just different stuff over the winter. I'm still going to dissect on a video. We're going to dissect a set, a set of those rolling disc cultivators in case any of you guys want to do that so we'll we'll do that and just looking forward to plow day and last year with plow day somebody made a comment about uh filming on plow day the other day you know i didn't know what to expect last year i didn't know if anybody show up what would happen i was just so tickled i had people there i didn't even realize you know really think about uh video much and we kind of pieced together a video will did a lot of shooting and stuff but this year, you know, I'm going to try to slow down a little bit, get some of you guys on camera, talk a little bit about your tractors and stuff, and uh, make it a little more interesting video there for us. So, all right, without further ado, let's cut some. Now, look, I say I'm going to cut this, guys. I may get halfway out in this field, have to lift up and come out of there because I don't know how wet it is. I didn't, the bog hair didn't cut it that deep. So it shouldn't be, I don't think it's wet. It may be heavy in a few spots, but uh, we'll have to see. So we'll do some of that. guys what'd you think i think it did all right i uh will come over here i'm a little bit worried about something i have to be careful guys i appreciate y'all uh last video not not saying the sun ain't on me too bad is it not saying too much to me on my last video we were over at the barn and we got in the shadow and somehow another the phone 
it wasn't that dark. I mean, it was so dark in a couple of those shots that you could barely see me talking. I was like, man. And of course, you know, it's a done deal then. It's either scrap the whole video or do that. So I appreciate y'all uh, giving me a pass on that. Now, I was just, I was thinking I'd stop real quick and we'll talk about this. So let's, uh, you know, when I was little, guys, and, you know, we had 175 Mass Ferguson and Daddy had a 674 and I got teenager. I've cut a lot with 4430, uh, 1466, 2955 John Deere. So I've used a lot of bigger stuff. And, you know, you get used to that big stuff and it allows you to do what I call skip a lot of steps. And when I mean skip a lot of steps, like with the 4430, I remember we had a, a disc, it was beaming Roger's dad's. Anyway, we could have come in here with the corn standing, bam, just two passes and it would have been demolished, cut all to pieces. And with a 140, yes, it's, it's, it's a smaller tractor, yeah, but if you'll do the steps, when I say the steps, follow the steps, you, you can get it, as you can see now, it's cutting great. I mean, it's, it's cutting up good, chomping up good. Time we plow out this winter, you know, next spring, it's going to be just just nice. And when I say the steps, you know, you got to constantly kind of plan ahead from the time we bush hogged it, from the time we rolled the stalks out to cutting it now. We'll come back and we'll either plow this plow day or I'll do it a day or two down the road after plow day. And it's, it really... It'll do it, guys. It um, if you follow the steps on it and try not to skip any, um, it it will really work your land up. But just want to thank everybody again, and uh, hopefully we'll we'll get some good drone shots. I want to try to uh, learn how to mix that in a little bit better. It's a learning curve. Hopefully we'll get good with it uh, for you guys and make some good video for you. I don't want it to be all just drone because drone footage has no volume to it whatsoever and so um you got to learn how to mix that in there right but anyway god bless you god loves you we'll see you hopefully next week on a video with this bush hogging and thank you so much <laughs>